Well, uh, let's learn how to represent the pulse source in SPICE. And this is how a general pulse source will look like. It may be a voltage or current. So, this is lower level voltage of the pulse, V1. And this is the higher level voltage, V2. And it's a distance where, I mean, the point where it starts rising, this dis distance from origin is called PD or delay time this distance and this this distance is called uh, TR or rise time and the time up to which it is on or high is called P on similarly you have fall time here between these two points and the time period of this wave is this this much so this this is all that is a specification of a pulse source and we can define a pulse source like this uh, pulse one voltage level other voltage level delay from origin there I mean pulse starts rising rise time fall time and T on and period so say there is a pulse connected between node 1 and 0 so its value is you can see one level is 0 other level is 5 volt and this this time is 0.5 microsecond so the point where it is start rising is 0.5 shift from origin this is TD this is TD 0.5 and the rise time is uh, 1 microsecond fall time is again 1 microsecond and its T on period from this point to this point is 5 micro and the overall period is 10 microseconds. So let's see how we can represent a pulse source using this P pulse command of a square. So suppose this is the square waveform that this is periodic square waveform that you want to represent in a spice. So we can use the pulse to represent this kind of waveform and one simple technique when when there is a multiple value at a particular time for example at 2 millisecond we have value 0 as well as 5 so I have told you already in case of PWM source that such type of thing is not possible in the spice you need to give it some slope so because I am working in terms of millisecond I will introduce a small slope here so I am giving a slope of 1 microsecond that means from this point to this point the horizontal difference, difference is 1 microsecond so because 1 microsecond is very small as compared to millisecond so it, it will not be visible and hence this approximation is I mean it's good so now you can see that we have finite rise time here finite uh, fall time here no, I mean non-zero fall time here non-zero rise time here and then this looks like a general pulse and hence we can write that it's, it's pulse and the one level of voltage is 0, other level is 5, so 0 and 5, you can see it from here. So 0, 5 and shift from origin, I mean the, the delay, time delay is 0 because it starts right at the origin. There is no difference between the origin and the point where it starts rising. So this is 0 and rise time is 1 microsecond, fall time is one microsecond the delay that I have introduced and T on is two millisecond. Although there will be some change but because this is microsecond the part so it will not cause any error as, as such and the time period is three milliseconds. Okay? So this is how I can be telling the pulse. So one thing you have to know that in case of pulse it is not possible to have zero rise time or zero fall time. If you write zero or zero here and zero here the spice will assume its default value or default sum value. So this is how I can represent a square waveform using pulse. So let's use this pulse and do the simulation of a CMOS inverter. Basically in the next tutorial I will show you how to apply a pulse signal in a CMOS inverter and see its output. So meanwhile thank you.